back. Uh, continuation. Uh, I think there's going to be one more video after that. This one would be the last one for the series. Um, but right now we're taking some gold and bronze, copper paint, acrylic paint, and just like dabbing it on whilst also making some um, fabric, uh, coloring fabric to match the book as well. And we'll be using that too. And you'll see where <laughs> later. using oh back to that part I keep finding the those bingo things that I needed to add the um, writing onto on the back and those bingo things are from actually when I went bingo with my mom. <laughs> she likes to bingo.
piece there with the that French thing. I can't remember how to say. I don't even know how to say those things. But um, I that was just from embossed paper, and I just inked it. It was from another project that I was working on previously. Uh, another order, or this is an order, but like on a previous order. And so we're just making a, a card to have a, you can write on it, writing space basically. making uh, tags out of the uh, book pages that we use as the glue, we call them glue books, and uh, with glue, you know, you've seen me using it as a, a spot to glue, use a glue stick on, so it doesn't get all over the desk and whatnot. But we're using those pages now to make um, tags with, so I didn't come up with that, but... Uh, I probably uh, saw Gail um, do it, and I've mentioned her before in my other videos, and um, I'll try to link her channel below, but yeah. Um, I watch a lot of her uh, stuff and some other channels that I get inspiration from, and then I um, create with that as well. These are all um, printables that I printed out that you can buy on Etsy. Um, I've shown them in uh, previous uh, Etsy hauls that I've done. Um, but there's a bunch of stickers, and some of them are from uh, Facebook too. Like I'm a, a lot part of a lot of Facebook groups, and some of them give free uh, digis on digitals, and um, so some of them are from that as well. But most of them are from Etsy and. Um, I have uh, shared b before where these papers are from in previous videos, so if you want to take a look at those videos, um, I'll try to remember better on, I'll try to be better at uh, remembering which papers I've used in the next uh, projects that we do together, so it could be a lot easier to find them on Etsy as well. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> See, there now we're using the uh, fabric uh, things that we wiped up the paint and ink with as background. So, and it all uh, works and looks good together.
There I'm using Fabri-Tac, which is one of my favorite glues. Um, the little glue bottle with the needle nose on it is um, gel medium that I have a big, huge bottle of. Um, I bought a long time ago, so I just refill that bottle and um, another canister too. I think I have another thing where I can dip and and paint on the glue as well, but. Um, I'll list my favorite things below and the glues are usually on there um, and my favorite tools like that tear ruler and so you can find it on Amazon um, as well. Now we're just drying that uh, gel medium. I think I used the antique one so it makes it look like a painting kind of and it tints it uh, brown a little to make it look more antique -y, of course. And that, I think that is a uh, gel medium from Tim Holtz. Um, I love Tim Holtz products. Uh, and uh, we are memory keepers, obviously, because you can see my, my tear ruler and the working, glass working mat I'm on. I actually got that at Tuesday mornings for like $14 and it's the glass um, working mat are is like my favorite and I recently bought um, the Tim Holtz one and I have it in my room now uh, which you guys don't see because this is an older video or not older video but you know what I mean so in the future videos you'll see and I just absolutely love it 're making a belly band for the um, page and it is to tuck stuff underneath so you'll see what I mean when we get that to that spot of decorating.
That's just regular uh, coffee dyed paper that I make in uh, big amounts when I do coffee dyed paper. <laughs> it's usually a day thing. I think this uh, technique's pretty cool. This is just regular printer paper, like the cheapest one you can buy. And I used it with the ink uh, to clean up ink mess. And now I have a backer where you can um, write on, but also like the paper is so thin that you can see the writing in the background and it just adds to the whole um, decor of the card. So it looks really cool. I think so anyway. <laughs> Those are actually um, the, a digital that I printed on label paper so that I can use my brother machine and um, make little stickers out of them. But I also, I mean, if you don't have a brother machine, obviously not everybody has a brother's machine. You could just like fussy cut it out, you know, um, and that works just as fine as well. this video is about to uh, come to an end here shortly so uh, I'll see you in the next video and thanks again for watching and bye bye